Hello and welcome to this Profit Potato Pro video. So today I'm going to straight up show you how to use the bulk select option in Profit Protector Pro and I'm also going to show you how to apply a repricing strategy in bulk. So these are two very simple, easy to use options at the top of the repricing page um, and they're going to help you with um, basically applying bulk actions uh, to items in your inventory. So all strategies to default is whatever strategy that you have selected as your default in your Profit Protector Pro settings. So in the PPP settings section, you can choose your default repricing strategy. So this will be whichever strategy um, works best for you, uh, which one is your favorite. So you set that here. So this one then becomes your default. So right now, Super Aggressive Dominator would be my default. If I change it to uh, MF Penny and a Buy Box, this will be my default. So whichever strategy is here will become my default strategy. This will also include any custom strategies that you've created and marked as active in the custom strategy section. In the repricing page, all you need to do as soon as you've set your default strategy is click all strategies to default and every single uh, strategy will then be marked as default and this will be the strategy that you set as your default over in your settings. So I set that to the balance I was accumulated just then. Every strategy um, that says default will be the balance I was accumulator. Now bulk select is going to allow you to do three different things. So first off when you click on bulk select you'll be able to select all. So everything is now selected on the page. Um, and if you want to select things individually, you can either select um, that particular item in that marketplace by clicking on the tick box for each marketplace that you want to choose um, down the row. Or uh, if you click on the tick box for all, it's going to select every instance of the item uh, in each marketplace. So it's completely up to you. And if you want to select absolutely everything in your inventory, or if you have applied a filter, then just click on this tick here uh, to select all X amount. So this will be everything in your inventory slash everything that has been filtered. So it's up to you if you wanted to change things by page, change things, uh, just change the select couple of things that have been filtered or you know on the page right here. Uh, and then you select your action. So you can either turn on all of these selected items for repricing, turn off all the selected items for repricing, or delete them. So when it comes to deleting items manually in Profit Protector Pro, you can do that individually by clicking on the bin icon for the item, or you can set the action to delete. And whichever action you have selected, simply just click on the tick right here. And then are you sure you want to turn on, turn off, or delete all selected SKUs? Then just click on yes. Now, this turn on will not work if you haven't got your min and max prices or strategies set on your items uh, in Profit Protector Pro. So if any items are missing a min and a max, please make sure that they are entered in because Profit Protector Pro will not allow you to turn anything on that is missing a min, max and strategy. So please make sure all of that information is filled in. Hopefully this tutorial was useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.